forgiveness is a decision but trust is a process and when you lose trust you lose the confidence of the marriage that is where you are always searching you take his phone and you want to find out because lack of trust will let you go into things you are not supposed to go into and if you're a married man and you lose the trust work hard to bring it back don't force you have to trust me what is that no two things work it hard come back home early if possible don't put a password on your phone do everything to work the trust to come back you already you are broken trust and then you come home late and then when you have a call you go and listen to you at the toilet you are not working on the trust and then you are forced you have to trust me you have to trust me no it doesn't work that way and don't deceive yourself to think that when you break your marriage there is no guarantee the next one will work statistics shows that all those that divorce 50 percent of them their next marriages don't work yeah. the reason is because the same demons run away you face them yeah. all women are the same at a point you frustrate yourself so stay with this one and work on it yes, yeah. so, so when you are courting they put you by the wall they are saying to kiss you tell him say boy 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 take your time touch your body and say i know you have heated but take your time and tell him that this thing will affect us. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, you love me, but to affect us. Let's work the process and get married. If we do this, we are, and, and let the guy know, if I give my body to you, I not even marry me. Some of you here can testify some relationship that you went along three years and it got broken. Why? No. Look at the study. They put a hand and a cock. The hand crossed, the cock crossed the hand. And the next thing was the, when you, you see food, cock, 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 cock. then he gave it to the hand. He didn't mind the hand for about two hours. One hour. Then they brought a new hand. He jumped on it and crossed it. They brought another new hand. They brought on it. So they found out that men love varieties. It's inside them. That is why without the Bible, you cannot suppress that thing. It's the Adamic nature. Yes. Now I'm closing with this. Finally, the next statistic they show us that they say the love, the compassion, and the attention for caution. If we take even 50% to marriage, no marriage will break. Wow. When men are chasing girls, yeah. the the sacrifice. How many of you, how many men remember what I'm talking about? You know the water I fetch? Hey. 12 midnight, this guy is going to di distribute water. Where mommy was living, there was no water. The pipe was not flowing. Where I was, pipe 24 hours. My car then, now open. Oh Jesus, it was a water tanker. I realize that sometimes, pick, boy, can you pick uh, a bottle of water from the fridge? I said, oh, it's that short here. Pick it, pick it. <laughs> but I was fetching water and driving three hours, two hours. There is another key to you have to learn in marriage. When you see somebody is taking you for granted, it means that you have been there for the person. Yes, sir. Encourage yourself. Pastor Joe, catch what I said. The rest of you didn't catch it. So don't take it negatively. The taking for granted is a sign that you have been very faithful. Because people only take you for granted when you have been there for them. You are always there for them. 